Dan Peter McKenzie, born the 21st of February 1942, is a professor of geophysics at the University of Cambridge and one-time head of the Bullard Laboratories of the Cambridge Department of Earth Sciences. He wrote the first paper defining the mathematical principles of plate tectonics on a sphere, and his early work on mantle convection created the modern discussion of planetary interiors. Topic: Early life. Born in Cheltenham, the son of an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, he first attended Westminster Under School and later Westminster School, London. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education and career. Mackenzie attended King's College, Cambridge where he read physics, obtaining a 2 to 1 in his final degree. As a graduate student, he worked with Edward Teddy Bullard who suggested he work on the subject of thermodynamic variables. He was awarded a research fellowship at King's College at the beginning of his second year which enabled him to study anything he wanted. As such, he gave up doing what Teddy had suggested and became interested in how the interior of the Earth convects, something completely speculative at that time. Mackenzie taught himself fluid mechanics and then went to the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego, on the invitation of Freeman Gilbert and Walter Munk. After eight months he returned to Cambridge, submitting his Ph.D. in 1966. He has since said that nothing in his early life as a scientist had such a profound effect on him as those eight months in California. <laughs> Plate tectonics Spending time between Cambridge and a fellowship held in Caltech, Mackenzie was invited, along with Teddy Bullard, to a conference in New York which initiated his revolutionary work on plate tectonics. After listening to separate talks from Fred Vine on plate tectonics, looking at the thermal structure of oceanic plates as they formed and cooled, following this, he published a seminal paper with Bob Parker, which employed Euler's fixed point theorem, in conjunction with magnetic anomalies and earthquakes to determine a precise mathematical theory on plate tectonics. This work was published some three to four months after the same work had been carried out by Jason Morgan at Princeton. Allegations were subsequently made suggesting that Mackenzie was at Morgan's Spring Agu talk where he presented his plate tectonics work. Later in 1968 he went to Princeton where he found that he and Morgan had solved two or three problems using identical mathematics in exactly the same way, plate tectonics was one, another was the thermal structure of the oceans and another was looking at earthquake mechanisms in a different way to seismologists. Working with John Sclater, Mackenzie determined the entire geological history of the Indian Ocean, the publication of which eventually resulted resulted in them both receiving fellowships at the Royal Society. <laughs> Mantle convection and sedimentary basins Mackenzie was awarded a university position and took it up in 1969. At this point he decided to move away from plate tectonics, choosing instead to focus on the behavior of fluids below the plates. He studied cellular convection and motions in the mantle whilst at the same time pursuing yet another new avenue of research, the development of sedimentary basins. It was from this work that he produced a classic paper that has been widely accepted by oil companies as the Mackenzie model of sedimentary basins. Mackenzie was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1976, aged just 34, and by 1978 was awarded a university readership position. Topic: 
Topic: Later career. Mackenzie continues to work at the Bullard Laboratories in Cambridge where he is Professor of Earth Science. Most recently his research has provided new insights into the tectonic evolution of Mars and Venus. In 2002 he was awarded the prestigious Crawford Prize from the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences for his contributions to research in the field of plate tectonics, sedimentary basin formation and mantle melting. With his appointment as a Companion of Honour in 2003, he brought the then current Cambridge membership of this elite group to four, Brenner, Mackenzie, Hobsbawm and Hawking. Topic selected bibliography Mackenzie, D., Nimmo, F., Jackson, J., Garns, P. B. and Miller, E. L. 2000 Characteristics and Consequences of Flow in the Crust. J., Geophys. Res. 105, 1129-1146. Mackenzie, D. and Fairhead, D. 1997 Estimates of the Effective Elastic Thickness of the Continental Lithosphere from Booger and Free Air Gravity Anomalies. J. Geophys. Res. 102-27523-27552. White, R. Mackenzie, D. 1989. Magmatism at Rift Zones, The Generation of Volcanic Continental Margins and Flood Basalts. Journal of Geophysical Research. 94-7685-7729. Bibcode, 1989JGR, w DOI, 10.1029, JB094 IB06 P07685. Jackson, J. A. and Mackenzie, D. 1988 The Relationship Between Plate Motions and Seismic Moment Tenses, and the Rates of Active Deformation in the Mediterranean and Middle East. Geophys. J. R. A. S. T. R. Sock, 93, 45-73. Bickle, M. J. and Mackenzie, D., 1987 The Transport of Heat and Matter by Fluids During Metamorphism. Contrib. Mineral. Petrol. 95, 384-92. Mackenzie, D. and Onions, R. K., 1983 Mantle Reservoirs and Ocean Island Basalts. Nature 301 229-231. England, P. and Mackenzie, D., 1982 A Thin Viscous Sheet Model for Continental Deformation. Geophys. J. R. A. S. T. R. Sock, 70, 295-321. Mackenzie, D. 1978. Some Remarks on the Development of Sedimentary Basins. Earth and Planetary Science Letters. 40, 1, 25-32. Bibcode, 1978 E and PSL, 0.40, 25M. Site 6 10.1.1.459.4779. DOI, 10.1016.0012-821-X78-90071-7. Parsons, B. and Mackenzie, D., 1978 Mantle Convection and the Thermal Structure of Plates. J. Geophys. Res. 83, 4485-96. Mackenzie, D., Roberts, J. and Weiss, N. O., 1974 Convection in the Earth's Mantle, Towards a Numerical Simulation. J. Fluid Mech, 62, 465-538. Mackenzie, D., Molnar, P. and Davies, D., 1970 Plate Tectonics of the Red Sea and East Africa. Nature 226, 243 8. Mackenzie, D., Sclater, J. G. 
The evolution of the Indian Ocean since the late Cretaceous. Geophysical Journal International. 24 5, 437. Bibcode, 1971 GEOJ, 37 m DOI, 10.1111-slash J.1365-246X.1971 GEOJ, 1971 x Mackenzie, D. Parker, R. L. 1967. The North Pacific, an example of tectonics on a sphere. Nature. 216, 5122, 1276. Bibcode, 1967 Nature.216, 1276M. DOI, 10.1038, 216-1276A0. Mackenzie, D. 1966. The Viscosity of the Lower Mantle. Journal of Geophysical Research. 71 16, 3995-4010. Bibcode, 1966JGR, 71-3995M. DOI, 10.1029-JZ071I016P03995. Awards Fellow of the Royal Society, FRS, 1976. Wollaston Medal, Geological Society of London, 1983. Rutherford Memorial Lecture, 1988. Japan Prize, with Dr. W. Jason Morgan and Dr. Xavier Le Pichon, 1990. Awarded a Royal Society Research Professorship, 1996 Awarded an Honorary DSC from the University of Bristol, 2000 William Bowie Medal, 2001 Crawford Prize Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, 2002 Order of the Companions of Honor by Queen Elizabeth II, 2003 Copley Medal, 2011